Hi Aries, welcome into your reading. Welcome in, welcome in. Okay, so this is your last week's reading that I'm doing back to back. This is the last week of August, first week of September, I want to say. Um, so this is the last reading I'm going to do before I'm back and doing your, your readings energetically the night before. So if they're not resonating, sorry. Um, but the one after this, I will be um, doing the night before. This just has been done a month early. Um, still, cards are still going to come out to what I ask it to be. Just like when I do private readings and you ask questions, they come out to what <laughs> you ask. So, Spirit, first week of September, last week of August, going into the first week of September, what are the energies there for my Aries? The Kings are the incoming energy. And yeah, that's it. We're finalizing Venus retrograde. It's going, um, well, you're starting to feel the shadow effects of it going direct. So now you got the hang of things here. Tell me the situation, Spirit, for Aries, please. Well, hello, the sun, which is also a Leo card. And at the bottom of the deck is five of swords. Interesting. And the queen of swords and the fool, which is you. There's something here you're analyzing, um, but with all your analytics, it's like spirits getting involved too, so it doesn't even really matter. Hold on. The sun, which is the happiest card in the deck, and the ace of, what are you? Swords. New deck, sorry. Um, let me show it to you. In fact, this is a deck I want to donate to one of you guys. Um, I would love to. Uh, I will. I want to donate this this deck to one of you guys, and I'll see who that's going to be. Um, the Sun. When this happens, this conversation, and somebody puts all their cards on the table, and you have this honest conversation it makes you very happy i mean because at the end of the day you love to live an authentic life a genuine life a life of reality you know not some bullshit wondering guessing and thinking what they're thinking because i'm sitting here wondering why you're analyzing all this shit here at the bottom of the deck taking a risk meanwhile spirits getting involved giving you some luck in regards to the foundation of your life um Let's continue. Let's see what's coming in towards you because right now I'm happy to just see you happy. All right, because the sun is the happiest card in the whole deck. And what does every human being strive for in their lifetime? To be happy, whatever that is for you. All right, Aries, please. What's coming in towards my Aries this week, please? Okay. The Knight of Swords, the King of Wands. Ooh, look at you. So hot. <laughs> and the Two of Cups. Holy shit. There we are. Somebody rushes in to communicate. You know what? I think we should date. You know what? I think we should go out. You know what? I think we need to communicate a little bit more. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Boom. Partnership. Do you see this? This is like ridiculous how crooked they are. Okay. This is like, you know what? As a matter of fact, I think we should be in a partnership. I think we should be a couple. I think we should be business partners. I think we should work together at work, whatever this is. It is a soul connection. Aries, what the hell is going on? I want some of that action. Six of swords at the bottom of the deck and seven of pentacles. I like the sixes because they're over the fives. You are mentally disengaging from something now, which is a good thing, I think. Because um, it's not connected to anything negative. That's why I'm feeling that way. Uh, what does an Aries see coming, please? Jesus. 
Queen of Swords, you're going to get in your heads. And you need to be careful because once you go in your head, that leaves a doorway open for the devil to come in and fuck your shit up. All right, let me have one more, please. Others of you, you have this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius female that's kind of like giving you some issues here. The Knight of Wands in reverse. That's why you're in your head. You have a one night stand here with somebody. And then you ask yourself like, well, what is it? What was it? Was it a one night stand? I shouldn't have done that. Should I have done that? I don't know. You overanalyze it though. You do have a one night stand. Knight of Wands in reverse isn't exactly like, hey, let's go back and revisit this situation. Interesting. Somebody younger than you. Page of Cups. Okay. They might not have to be younger, but somebody a little bit more immature. What is the advice here for Aries, please? Ten of Pentacles. In reverse. Wow, two tens in reverse. Ten of Swords. Some of you, this has something to do with your marriage that might have ended um, badly. Uh, and you're revisiting it. Some of you, it's saying you do need to revisit it, if anything, because of finances. So I don't know if some of you are getting a divorce. It's talking about something about your finances and ending this once and for all because it's nothing but a complication. Um, others of you, this is talking about giving some attention to your family and the finances in your home. Yeah, five of pentacles being left out in the cult, at least financially or by a marriage or union here. Uh-huh. The plot thickens. Let's see the outcome. There is my Page of Swords, my Ace of Pentacles, <clears throat> and the Emperor, Aries. And the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, so somebody either gets caught out there or somebody comes back that had ghosted you. Some of you could be dealing with another Aries like yourself. I'm sorry, this is incoming. Ace of Pentacles, a solid start. And you do have a fire sign king here. So maybe you are dealing with another Aries. And you have an opportunity here with them. Or others of you, if this is financial, some of you could be starting your own company, your own business. And here's the new opportunity. Something you've been seeking and stalking out for a while. Uh, others of you, you have this Aries individual or this other person that's older than you um, that's offering you something and they've been checking you out for quite a bit for a hot minute. I wonder what that is all about. Moreover, your advice. Um, what does Aries need to know over here in their advice with these two, and a, two ten of swords in reverse? Uh, that really also talks about not letting something go. Like it's dead and done and dusted and um, you're holding on to it a little bit longer than you should for some of you. What is this Ten of Swords, please? And the Ten of Pentacles, both in reverse. What do they need to know, please? Don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying little bastards. <laughs> and stop obsessing. Let me put it over here. You're not the fucking center of the universe. I feel like changing this card. It should be saying they are not the fucking center of the universe. Okay? But stop obsessing over the situation. And don't believe every shittle, shitty little thought you have. It's not true. Then you're going to let the devil get in there and then the devil's going to mess your ass up real bad. Fears, doubts, all this other yucky stuff that it's going to lead to self-sabotage. 
but let's see what they're talking about. So let's start clarifying and seeing this. You're definitely happy with something else going on. I don't know if you're like sitting here knocking boots with somebody and that's making you happy. <laughs> or your life is moving in a direction finally. What is the Ace of Swords and the Sun, please? The Queen of Wands, that's you. Aries, Leo, Sag. Others of you, this is being a mistress or a mister. So you're walking away from something here, right? You personally. And whatever it is that you're walking away with, you're walking away with confidence. So you're having this conversation here and you're talking to somebody. You're like, I ain't going to be nobody's mistress. I ain't going to be nobody's third party. You could just forget that shit. It's not going to happen. And, you know, it's bringing you in some sort of happiness. Others of you, you could be dealing with a Leo as well. Because I'm seeing strength card at the bottom of the deck you're resisting yeah sneaking around or having breadcrumbs you know i'm telling you venus retrograde for you it's like snip snip you know you're like i do not take breadcrumbs i am not an option i am a the choice i am not an option i am not like a piece of like pastry on a bakery shelf that you pick no you bake me <laughs> and i arrive and here i am and if i'm not your choice i do not want to be your option so you're walking away here and whatever you're walking away from you could be a lot of you are walking away from something old to go towards this like fling or whatever this is that's making you happy some of you walking away from marriage going to your person let me see what's going on here. Knight of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Two of Cups. I mean, that's a relationship, the Two of Cups, where you feel like you're both soulmates. It's mutual feelings. Oh, this I kind of love, I gotta say. This I really love. The Lovers and Death at the bottom of the deck, and Five of Pentacles is back here. Okay. This lovers, we always say lovers is a choice. Now you can have death after this, or you can have two of cups. Now mind you, this is the clarifier to this, and that's why I love this, because a choice was made to be a happy couple together, but maybe you're not telling it to each other, at least not yet. Interesting, but something else has died off, and something new is transitioning. And yes, the plot does thicken. Queen of Wands. Yes, Queen. And the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so whatever this flingy thing you do or this one night stand that you have or this something that wasn't well thought out that you did, uh, some kind of spontaneous action, you're going over it and over again in your mind. You're like, should I ask this person out? Should, we, should I talk about my feelings to them? Should I discuss like what we did? If you want to do so, you, I mean, this is not healthy to be sitting here. You're obsessing and you shouldn't be. Stop obsessing, you know? And it's like, you're thinking about if you should go out with them and talk to them um, and collaborating, you should, or it's going to lead to breadcrumbs again. Let's see. What's the advice over here with these two ten of, sword, ten of Swords in Reverse and Ten of Pentacles in Reverse? Some, you finished off something, something from your recent past. It's like saying you can leave that now um, and look at brighter days, okay? You don't need to stress because you pulled the trigger. You did what was done. Uh, you moved on. You, clearly, you left, Look at that. You left the building. And then you started your healing process. You took the daggers out. When you stop obsessing and you stop believing all the crazy shit that like you're never going to meet anybody, you're doomed for failure, it's abandonment, get those thoughts out of your mind. Something ended. Another commitment, some kind of betrayal in your past, it's time to let it go because you're still holding on to those remnants. The second that you do, the, the sun comes out, your happiness comes out, and you stop stressing and obsessing and having anxiety. 
or at least you need to. And then when you do, it triggers your health. It triggers your um, healing process. And when I say health, I mean mentally. <laughs> it's back here. All right, let's go. Let's see what this emperor is doing here. This ace of pentacles. Some of you, it could be, like I said, you're starting a new business or you're starting a new job or a company. You're getting some financial opportunity and you're just trying to get more information. Others of you can be vice versa. There's another Aries here offering you a new opportunity that has been checking you out. Clarify, please. Okay, so there's a situation here with somebody that it fell apart with, right? You had a fight, you had a blow up, you had something happened and poof, it all went down. When this person comes and offers you something here, you go into analytical mode. You start calculating, you raise the sword and you're like, I could chop it down or I could put the sword down to conversy. But whoever or whatever this is, you're starting to look at them like they're in abundance, that they are abundant. You're seeing that they are a gift from God because here it is. This person, this is the universe giving this person a gift and this person's not looking at it. They're looking at their loss. Inverted, they're looking at their abundance. They're looking at this opportunity again. And it could have been something that had fallen apart in the previous past and you're analyzing it. Because now this person is coming in to vindicate you and validate you and it makes you feel good. So it makes you pause to think about this situation. And it could be that you're trying to get more information to see if this is valid or something for you. What do you see here? What do you see that I don't see spirit? Romance angels, love angels. interesting very interesting okay very soon so you do have an opportunity here that you're at the make or break period so you need to do something now or forever hold your peace and, and let this person go um because i do see you analyzing but we will clarify in the extended throw some tarot on top of it to see what it's talking about Honeymoon. Some of you are in a honeymoon phase and the phase is over and now you got to make a choice. Um, and then playfulness is here and under that is engagement. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You could be on a vacation with this lover or this person and this is you having a good time. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Interesting. Okay. Let's get a card from the Wisdom House of Night and see what's going on here. It's short and sweet. I know it's not as long as I would like, but I had to do like five of your videos back to back. Do watch my shorts uh, over the month of August. Well, in retrospect, I hope and you have been watching my videos through August. The warrior. What do I feel like you got this before? Makes me think of that song, Pat Benatar, The Warrior. I am the warrior. My beloved child, when the warrior appears to you, it is such a fortunate sign that no matter what's happening to you in your life, you are truly protected. Hold on. There's more to come. Whatever you're experiencing right now, all will be well. If your question is regarding love, this card represents someone who's deeply committed, protective, and kind to you. Friendship and love are sacred, and these qualities are important for a relationship to grow. If this person doesn't have these qualities, then move on, for I will send you someone with a true warrior spirit instead. Remember, life is about learning and discerning who is true and who is not. There is another message here to consider. Do you embody these qualities in yourself? Now is a good time to think about how committed you are to your path. Mm -mm. Do, do, do. I love this card. 
All right, guys, I will see you at the extended. Um, everybody else, I will see you next week.